Maria. Can we not talk about this, please? All right. Oh, you're joking, aren't you? I came here to check out the competition. I wish I hadn't now. Oh, you'll have loads of punters in, especially now you're doing bring your own booze. Oh, don't even get me started on that. I can't believe you've got a photo booth. Oh, yeah, it's good, isn't it? Oh, you'll never guess what I've done. I meant to order enough food for 100 people, but I've only put 10 by mistake. 10? Yeah, my head's been all over the place thinking that it was Gary's fault about what happened to Robert and Shona, and now I've made everything worse. I know, I've told you. Whatever Gary has or hasn't done, nobody blames you. Well, that doesn't stop Ray from going mad about tonight. Just relax, all right? Maybe there's a way that I can help you. Seriously? Your dad showed me how to make a sausage dog so I could add a bit of magic to Tiny's next unicorn party. I keep getting a stupid thing wrong. I'm like a one-legged prawn. Oh, fine, you have a go if you're so clever. Well, I would, but Tracy's got me under the cosh. I've got to take it, see some band I've never even heard of. Well, you could always be stuck in here with a bunch of one-legged prawns. Oh, my, but tonight was my chance to make it up to Sal. Well, mate, if it means that much to you, then maybe we should swap. Wives? No, you numpty! Shifts! I'll tell Tracy you're sick. You can have some quality time with Sal. Well, you'd really do that for me? Well, for a small administrative charge, obviously. Say 20 quid. Tenner. Perfect. Ali's blown me out tonight because she's got to work. Cheers. Women, eh? Liking the T-shirt, mate. Thanks. It's Wim Stereo. And the wrestler. I feel I can give you a chalk slam. Uh, thanks, but I'll, I'll pass. Right. Got a sec. What sort of sec? I've got a job for you. Make it worth your while. I'm listening. Right. I need you to go and save whatever that money to. Thanks, but I can get me neck choked by Alex. And tell him I'm backing it in. Tell them they pay back the money they've borrowed and I'll write off the interest. What are you doing? Uh, making a chicken biryani. Getting ready for tonight, obviously. You're a bit overexcited. No, I'm not, Steve, because we're going to the gig, you know? The one I keep saying is so important. Yeah, about that. Um, there's no easy way of saying this, so I'm just gonna... Come out with it. Come out with what? What have you done now? Nothing. No, it's, uh, it's Tim. He's uh, thrown up all over the switch. Is he drunk already? No. No, he's ill. So I've had to send him home, obviously. And someone's got to cover his shift. Don't tell me you've got to work tonight. Well, I don't want to. You know, I mean, I'm gutted, obviously. But what other choice have I got? I don't believe this, Steve. Hey, listen, what's, what's, what's all this about? You really have no clue why tonight is so important. Oh, I know what happened with Robert, not even six. No, not just that. Is there no other reason you can think of? <sighs> you fancy the singer? Do you know what, Steve? Go to work. Sorry, came as fast as I could. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Right, quick, let's get these out before he gets in. Wasn't the way you were doing the catering tonight? Oh, well, it was more of a last-minute thing. Really? Because I just had our suppliers on the phone saying there'd been a mix-up. <sighs> Look, it's all my fault. I messed up the order, but all you say now, she saved it. Really, it was no biggie. Well, I disagree. If it hadn't been for you, I could have been extremely embarrassed. And I don't like being embarrassed. I'll get it plated up. Is this it? Excuse me? Well, I mean, the decorations are nice, but I've seen livelier morgues. Plus, they don't charge on the door. 
Ah, oh, perhaps I could change your mind with a free glass of Prosecco. Did you know it was me? Call it a sixth sense. Kevin, yeah. Not unless he's in disguise, no. Good. Plenty of time to get wasted. Why do you want to get wasted? No reason. <clears throat> All right. Well, you know, maybe I'm thinking about, you know, making a move. Oh. <laughs> with, with Kevin. Shout it to the world, wide, don't you? Well, now's your chance. You don't want another bag, you don't want this lock breaking. No, it'll be fine, thank you. Tracy, you look very glamorous. Oh, cheers, babe. Shame it's all been for nothing. What's for nothing? Well, me and Steve were supposed to go out tonight, but now that Tim's sick, he's having to cover for him. Tim never said anything about you and Steve going out. Tim's sick? Yeah, didn't I mention it? He's um, been projectile vomiting. He's almost given himself whiplash. Oh, well, surely all that beer's going to go straight through him. What beer? That beer. Look, she's brought in up there to sink the Titanic. That's for Tim, right? No, it's, um, it's for me. You drink super strength lager? Well, not normally, obviously, but I thought it could be my New Year's resolution, you know, to broaden my palate, so to speak. You're lying. Why are you lying? Oh, Karen! Ike, what are you doing here? Hey, I told you on the phone I don't do this anymore, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, absolutely. Uh, your business associate, you know, Brian. Ryan. Yeah, yeah, right. He told me about wiping the old slate clean. Done. Wiping the slate clean? He said that? No, no, no. I meant wipe the interest clean, all right? Yeah, absolutely, totally. I'll tell you what it is. What? <sighs> I'm going to need to lend some more money. Right, no, listen, listen, right? They're going to throw me mum out the nursing home if I don't turn up with 600 quid. Oh, look, 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 I've got this in part exchange. Look, it's even got one of them wall brackets on for easy use. Look, can I, 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 I can still see the sticker on the back. It says property of Summer Forest Nursing Home. Mate, Gary, please, just help me out this one last time. That, that you will never see me again, yeah? I'll, I'll pay you back twice as much, whatever you want, mate. Things have changed for me now. I've got a kid on the way. Exactly. You'll need the money. No, I don't care about that anymore. Look, it's a big deal for me, this, all right? But like the mum, she... Well, she means a lot to me, and I, I, I don't want to lose her, OK? Take this, all right? Should at least tide you over for a little bit. Seriously? Yeah. You know, I don't care what anyone says. You are one of the best. How long have you been there for? Long enough. So do you want to talk? Come on, everybody! <laughs> Guess who I am? Like a virgin. Come on. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry about that. And who are you when you're out? Kylie, obviously. Which I reckon makes you Jason. <laughs> oh, Jason Flaming Donovan. I should be so lucky, 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 lucky. Hey, guys. Are you two planning on being here all night or what? Oh, I was like, I thought so I'm going to get a pint here. Ah, 
Brushed off your feet? Um, well, I had a bit of downtime, so I thought I'd, uh, you know, get in the festive spirit. Oh, that's nice. Reckon Tim's probably doing the same thing. Yeah, well, I doubt that very much. No, I think he is, actually, Steve, because I just ran into Sally in the corner shop buying him a shed load of lager. And she told me about this little scam you've got to pretend that he's ill. Why would you lie to me, Steve? You know how much tonight meant to me. Well, I didn't really. What's so special about the effervescences, whatever they're called, never even flipping heard of them? Oh, really? So you've never heard of the song, Bring Me To Life? It doesn't mean anything to you, doesn't ring any bells? Well... Steve, that is the song that Amy was conceived to. You were there, briefly. Look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm such an idiot. No, oh, it's not just about that, though, is it? For one night, I wanted to believe that the world just isn't full of horror and misery and pain. That somehow next year might be better. Well, you know something? Fat chance of that. You're gonna go after Kevin? So did I. Only I kissed him on the cheek and he looked like I'd just killed a puppy. You're not giving up that easy. You've got to be more persuasive. He's kept though, isn't he? I mean, can you imagine anyone really less my type? He's like a, a nice, safe hatchback. He's not one of them Ford Capris from the professionals either. More like an old Austin Allegro. Yeah, well, I'd take safe any time of the week. Yeah, I know, but seriously. Kev's idea of a wild Friday night is a few beers on the sofa watching some dodgy Van Damme movie. What well, do you think he's that boring? Why are you giving him the glad eye? Because he's a really top bloke who does nice things for you and doesn't want anything back. But I am done with bad lads who get you up the door and then run a mile. I want someone kind and funny who's going to stick around. And I think, I don't know, I think he might be it. to play some quiet is giving me my grave. Ryan! Ryan, can we have a time out? What, you want? Request? What are, you, what are you doing? Maybe wait till later, eh? Yeah, or we could go somewhere else, like the M62. Right! Who's got a resolution that they'd like to tell us about? Oh, come on, you law. We're supposed to be celebrating. Celebrating what? I'm stuck here with a gammy shoulder. Mm, and I'm only here because my dinner dates have cancelled and my kids would rather be with their dad. I'm stuck with Mr Charisma here because has been jilted by me bird. Tracy! Please tell me you have something worth celebrating. Yeah, finally seeing Steve for the slimy two-faced sewer, right? He actually is. Oh, I'm glad you're here. You do divorces, don't you? Mm hmm The youth of today would call this prinking. Do you know I feel bad Mum's not here? Well, it was her idea to take the kid bowling. Yeah, only because we can get a babysitter. Oh, you never guess. David's saying he can't make it. Oh, you're kidding. Well, to be fair, it was a long shot. Yes, I know that, but the kids have made a card specially for him and shown her. Oh, no, but that's why he's not coming. He wants to be with her. Yes, well, I know that. Bless him. Right, then. Well, there's only one thing to do. What? Well, if Adam wants to spend tonight with his family, we should take a leaf out of his book. Spend the night with Ken? No, I mean... If David doesn't want to come to the party, then we should take the party to David. Oh. <sighs> Seeing Daniel this morning, bringing little Bertie up on his own, I just thought... I know how hard that is. And if I'm honest, I'm scared to do it all again, I am. But I'm more scared about being with someone that I can't trust. Oh, you can trust me, you can. I mean, you heard what I said. Why would I say that if I didn't mean it? Eh? How do I know that you're not going to go behind my back again in a few months, Gary? Because I'm not going to risk losing you. Or the baby. Normally, ain't you use me? 
usually wind up chucking up in the back of a taxi or copping off with someone I shouldn't, sometimes at the same time. You don't fancy a snog, do you? What? Well, I was going to wait until midnight, but I might be unconscious by then, so... She is for the offer, but not that desperate. Who's decided that he doesn't want to sleep through New Year's Eve, eh? No, I don't mind. Otherwise, Daddy would just be a sad out by himself. Hello? Hi, it's me. Oh, right. Uh, come up. Who's this, eh? Goldilocks and the three little birds. <laughs> Certainly sounds like it. What are you all doing here? Oh, you didn't think we were going to leave you both on your own on New Year, did you? Oh, anyway, it's just what we came to see, really, isn't it? Hello, look good. Mm. <laughs> Compliments to Claudia. Yeah. She would have been here, but she's seeing some old girlfriends. Mm. Have you not all got somewhere better to be? You think so? Turns out you're the best we can do. So I'm confused. You're a successful, intelligent, might I say, very attractive woman. <laughs> Am I? Oh. Also a, a, a gobby ex con with a borderline personality disorder. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but my point is, what are you doing with Steve? Oh, well, um, <laughs> well, Steve is like one of those really annoying, yappy little dogs. <laughs> and every new year, I say, I'm going to have to have him put down. <laughs> but every new year, I haven't got the heart. <laughs> I thought you were joking about your divorce. No, the only joke is my marriage. Anyway, how are things going with you and Sophie? Oh, gee. <laughs> well, the last time I checked, she was dating a beautifully tanned backpacker. And I know this because I've been stalking her on social media. Oh, blimey. Yeah. Hey, you're even, <laughs> you're even sadder than I am. Yep. I'll tell you what, why don't me and you make this a New Year's Eve to remember? Are you in? I'm in. <laughs> Sure, you want to do this? Go back to yours if you want. No, no, it's fine. Can't lead away forever, can I? A pint and an orange juice, please, Johnny. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Yeah, why is that? Let me guess. You've been listening to the local drug addict, have you? Drug addict? Mm. Did you not know, Rita? He nearly burnt my flat down when he was supposed to be looking after Liam because he was off his face. So if anyone should feel ashamed around here, it's him. Ali, hey, come. Positions, everyone. It's almost time for the countdown. I make it 38 seconds and counting. So, did um, Abby find you? Yeah, yeah, she found me. Yeah? She asked me out? Me? Hey, oh, no. Far too boring and setting me ways. Apparently, my ideal Friday night is sat in front of a Van Damme movie with a six-pack. You overheard. Loud and clear. Then you'll also have overheard what she said afterwards. She thinks you're a top bloke because she wants to jump your bones. What? You stupid great knucklehead. She thinks the world is. So go find a guy you. May there be many more to come. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know something, Paula? I used to think you were a right stuck-up cow, swanning around in your shiny suit. I'm so professional. <laughs> but actually, you know. Oh, well, thank you. And if we're laying our cards on the table, I think you're a fool. What? But you've got so much going for you and you have no idea. I think you need to throw caution to the wind. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. Right, after I've had a was. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Thank you.
to Sinead. Sinead. To mummy. Sarah Parrish is back, promoted, feeling the strain. This time it's personal as DCS. Elizabeth Bancroft, the new series, New Year's Day at nine, a new Bond film just around the corner. But next, Daniel Craig must contend with an evil organization, Spectre. <laughs> 